and a fashion show to help support those who are homeless in New Haven. It's going to feature our own Ann Nyberg and Ann Craig. They'll be part of that show. And we're joined more this morning by designer Neville Wisdom and John Bradley, the executive director of Liberty Community Services, to talk a little about the event, talk maybe a little about the need for the event here in New Haven as well. Good morning to both of you. Thanks for coming in. Morning. All right, let's, let's start with this event. When's it happening? Where, where is it happening? And, and what are we going to find there? Well, it's this Thursday, um, May 1st, and it's at 5.30, and it's being held at the New Haven Lawn Club. And it is a combination of uh, community leaders who are models and also models who are women from New Haven. And Neville is our curator. He has uh, been working very hard on this, and he's uh, um, working also with young designers who are kind of coming up with some of the newest and latest creations. That's, that's a pretty cool uh, part of this, is that you get to feature some of, some of those young folks who are, are trying to, get, to break into this, to get their, their fashion and design shown. What was the process of, of trying to go through, to, to curate all this like? Uh, well, first, I have a lovely assistant who helps a great deal with um, just getting everything to work right. Yep. Um, and so uh, it's a process to, to, to put shows like this together, but it's for a really good cause. Um, and um, we're glad to work with Liberty. Uh, we support homelessness 100%. And it's, it's an honor to have um, something that you can be passionate about and find something else to work that way um, to help the homeless in New Haven. Any particular common thread pardon the pun, that runs through the fashion that we're going to see? Uh, well, um, we're going to be featuring um, our new spring line for this um, season. Every season we do a spring line, uh, yeah. spring summer line. And um, so we'll have most of uh, those fashions on um, for the show. And it's just, uh, it's, our line is very sophisticated. Um, it's for uh, the working class woman. Our customers are usually between the ages of um, 30 to 65. Um, and there's just a lot of great things that we do here at 63 Orange Street. All right, let's talk about the problem of homelessness in New Haven. It's one of those things that we talk about it when the weather gets cold. Right. I mean, that seems to be the, the time that we discuss it the most. We need shelters, things like that. It's a problem 365 days a year. That's right. Um, we are taking on the problem of homelessness in this country, and we really want to, from the federal, state, city level, agencies like Liberty, end homelessness. It can be done. Um, we have about 700 people at any point in time who are homeless in New Haven, so that number is relatively finite. And we know the solutions to end homelessness, and we have those solutions, and we just need to really apply ourselves and do a little bit more. Um, it, is this an issue of, of awareness or is it an issue of funding, an issue of, of both? I think it's an issue of both. I mean, I think that we um, you know, have been funded by the state and federal government. We could use a little bit more. I think it's just a question of also just engaging the community, that basically everyone can do their part to end homelessness. And I think it's just an issue that we just need to continue to raise and say that it is possible to end homelessness. Neville, you're, you're engaged. What is it about this issue that is important to you? Why did you get yourself involved in, in, in trying to fight this? Um, one of the things that one of the things that I love really about uh, what John and his group does over at Liberty is they it's it's not just a, a place for people to stay, but it's also um, surrounding what goes on with the individual and kind of trying to get them out of a mental state of homelessness first and not just to put them up to see what the real issue is because there are so many other issues that are surrounded with homelessness. You can give people four walls and a roof, but right. in their exactly. mind, exactly. they may still be part, it may exactly. be part of the problem. Yeah. Talk a little more about the dresses that we, we have here today because we want to uh, highlight what we're, what we're looking at here. Okay. Well, we have um, uh, two lovely dresses. One of the dresses that we have today is uh, uh, it's a fit and flare and it's made from um, a very soft cotton called Ponte, and it's very flattering for especially my curvier woman. Um, and then uh, we have another silhouette that's a different, you know, it's a little bit more structure. Uh, the neckline is crisscross and it's made from 100% silk and it's fully lined. And we custom make all of our dresses at, um, here in New Haven. Um, and so when women come in, they want to feel beautiful, 
we can make that happen for them. Yeah, all those things need right now is a little bit of sunshine. I mean, they're, they're beautiful dresses. Thank you, thank you. Beautiful models, beautiful dresses. Beautiful models. And a beautiful very models. important cause, again. And a very important thing. Happening Thursday night, May 1st, in the New Haven Long Club, a great venue for mm -hmm. something like this. And a lot of familiar faces will be part of the show as well. As we mentioned, um, our Anns, Ann Nyberg and Ann Craig, will uh, be helping out as well. So, John and Neville, thanks very much for coming in. If you